Hi, my name is Ruth, and this is her Truth Worth devotional number two. Each and every one of us have sinned against God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Scripture then goes on to say that the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23, so that means when sin occurs, something must die. That's the price that must be paid when sin entered the world. It looked like all was lost, but God made a way. In the Old Testament, God saw fit to allow people to make substitutionary payment, so instead of us dying, Something else, usually a pure, spotless lamb, was allowed to die in our place and pay the price of our sin. We deserve death, but God made a way. In the New Testament, we see that the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who came to take away the sin of the world, God saw fit to allow his perfect son to be the one time sacrifice for all of us forever jesus is perfect in every way god gave up his precious and perfect son to die in our place the greatest gift of all time he traded that for you and for me is unfathomable it's unbelievable that God chose to do that, yet he chooses to do that freely without payment for us prayer. Lord, thank you for allowing Jesus to be sacrificed for my sins. And thank you for loving me so much that you saved me from eternal death. Amen. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus our Lord. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. I hope this is a blessing to you as it is for me. I hope you have a blessed day or evening. Bye.